Hey everybody, this is Reggie with A Team Appliance, and my wife would not be happy about me showing this, but this is our laundry room, and I want to do a video on washing blankets. Now, we have hanging up here, this is a little laundry line I hung up in my laundry room, and these are sleeping bags, so we just uh, came back from camping with Boy Scouts, and we've got uh, four sleeping bags, and two adults, two children, and we had to wash them. So I washed them myself. My wife usually does the laundry, but uh, I got to fix machines when they break. So I decided to <laughs> do these myself. Um, how now going about cleaning these things is key um, as far as technically with your wash machine. Uh, I have a Electrolux front load washer and dryer. And what typically happens with these things is the bearings break, the tub gets, you know, the tub breaks. And a lot of times it's from washing blankets and heavy, heavy sheets. Well, usually my cousins ask me about washing blankets and stuff. I err on the side of caution and just say, take them to the laundromat. Don't put them in your machine. Um, because it takes discipline to actually wash sheets properly. Um, now what I recommend, number one, I did not wash all these at the same time. Um, you know, two single adult sleeping bags and two children's. I did not wash them at the same time because what happens is, uh, the cotton inside these things gets soaked and your killer is weight. So you've got all that water in there and then you have this hor horizontal mounted wash tub and that weight, see behind here, see that, see that little cross right there behind that is something called a spider bearing. And that bearing with all that weight will push down on this tub and that thing will break. Uh, it'll break over time. Uh, usually it usually doesn't happen, you know, all at once, but it breaks over time. Or if you have an older machine, um, that the metal in that bearing may be already corroded. Um, a lot of that corrosion is due to actually laundry detergent. Um, if you use powder detergent, it happens a lot faster because that powder doesn't break down very well. Uh, or if you use a lot of soap, that'll do it too. Um, or just over time, you know, metal and water just doesn't mix. And I guess we haven't, we don't have the technology yet or the, um, uh, able to expense in a, um, rust resistant metal. Well, I guess we, we probably do have the technology seeing we have metal bridges and stuff, but I don't know. You know some of those are, are covered with concrete. I don't know how it works. So anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the demonstration. So I got a blanket here. This is a queen size comforter. We use this as a pallet for our, uh, to go underneath our sleeping bags. And so, see that, just one. Now that is kind of heavy, it's, it's, it fills it up, but it's just one sheet. Now here's the key that uh, people don't do. A lot, of, a lot of times folks are on autopilot and they'll just put it on normal. They put the machine on normal and start washing. That's a no-no. Put it on delicate. Or if you want hand wash. So the difference is the tub doesn't rotate as much, so it's less stress on the tub. Uh, on the spin cycle, it's not going as fast, so that's less stress on the tub and the spider bearing. Um, so the key is when you're washing comforters, be sure to put it on delicates or even hand wash uh, or even rugs. I mean, I don't recommend putting any of that, thing, any of that stuff in here um, just because the times that you forget and you're on autopilot and you put that thing on normal or you put on heavy duty, that's even worse. <laughs> Cause you think like, okay, let's put on heavy duty. It's a big heavy duty blanket. Nope. Uh, that'll make it worse. Cause it, you know, the more that tub rotates, the more it's taken on that weight of that, the, the water soaked cotton essentially, uh, in that sleeping bag or that, that comforter. Um, so this is how we do. And also a detergent, you know, you don't fill all the way up. I fill it right to the, the, the minimum line. Uh, number one, because he's high efficiency, so you don't want a lot of, you don't want it soapy. Um, and you run it. So this is how you do it. So if you got a front load washer and dryer, uh, if you're washing rugs or, which I don't recommend, but if you feel you have to, uh, or blankets, sleeping bags, put that baby on delicate to save your machine. Um, and if you have rugs, uh, I, I highly recommend not using the dryer. As you see, I've got mine hung up. I'm not even putting them in the dryer. Uh, maybe because of the the fabric 
you know, this stuff kind of wicks away, doesn't hold water very, you know, for very long. So it's uh, just easy to hang dry. I'm like, this one's completely dry and it's probably been hanging here for uh, maybe an hour. So uh, no need to, to waste energy in your dryer or put wear and tear on this fabric with applying heat to it. Um, so anyway, this is Reggie A Team Appliance, aka Wash Dry Repair Nerd. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment uh, in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get as little little snippets of information that will help you save time and save your money from calling me to come out and repair your machine. This is Reggie, A Team Appliance.